speed dating continues with me. I'm going to start with congratulations. Love that. Uh, uh, you guys did great. Um, I like throwing a curveball before I get started into the movie. Uh, for both of you, if someone has actually never seen anything you've done before, what is the first thing you'd like them watching and why? I don't think that person exists for me. I mean, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go with this. And the reason why is because it's the most current thing I've done and I want to continue growing. It just is, you don't understand what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm doing right now or just did right now. So that's as close to who I am as I can show you on film right now. Yeah, I'd like to steal that answer, but just to you switch just to switch up, I'm gonna go opposite end of, of oh. that and say the first thing I ever did, which was play Fizzy in Bugsy Malone on stage, and I I don't know that I've topped it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh thank thank you for that. Um one of the things that I love about this film is that it doesn't try to Hollywoodize the story. It's a real honest depiction of two people and their relationships and the ups and downs. Can you sort of talk about that aspect of it? Yeah, I think for both of us, uh, that was a, a major reason this was so intriguing to do and, and a reason to want to be a part of it was that it did depict uh, not just a gay relationship, but a relationship in general through perhaps more highs and lows than one is expecting to see in a film, but one should for sure expect in real life. Um, and that was that was very satisfying to get to to play that many different temperatures and variations of what they were going through. Yeah, I think um, Michael Showalter said to me quite early on, he said, what do you want to? And it was an interesting question. He was like, what do you want to do with this like part? What do you want to achieve with it? And I my answer was that I just wanted to be believed. And I think that goes for the movie as well, that I just I just wanted to and want the movie to be believable. And in that way, I think you have to like offer the full spectrum of something. And it, I think it shows the full spectrum of a relationship and not just the rose tinted version of it or not just the tragic version of it. And I think that's something that we're both really proud of. And, and I hope that's playing really well in the film is that it really is, it really is the, the, what it is to be in a relationship for a long time and the journeys that you, the journey that you go on with that. Michael was on set a lot. I, oh, I think every day. And what was it like actually having him there watching? Because as a performer, there's, you know, you want to, I, I would like to think you want to create some sort of distance to make the character your own, but you're making it. In, it's really, these are real people. Can you sort of talk about that dynamic? Michael Osiella was actually pretty vocal in his uh, stating that he understood that what we were doing was not going to mimic his real life and that he, or, or mirror it completely. And that this was its own creature. Like he said that many different times and in many different ways. And which is not to say that all of the pressure is taken away by knowing that the source of the source material is there the whole time, but most of it is. And, and we've talked, this has come up a couple of times, but like we both drew a lot of, um, strength i think and power from just being able to see him there and know that he was there really centering our performances and just the journey we we're going on there was the man who had lived it you know right there uh, i always find it uh, funny watching club scenes in movies because i know everyone in those scenes it has to be super quiet there's no music actually playing you're trying to dance and you're trying to make it believable but it's as fake as it can be can you sort of talk about um filming those <laughs> like a scene like that so they are they are very strange yeah scenes to film and i think like there are also scenes that i that, that like you, you do watch a lot of the time and 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 you're aware of that or like you're aware of the background artists a, a lot and um <laughs> this i found this is was, was fun to do but it was funny to do yes as well yeah uh because uh, yeah there is no music and you're bopping to to nothing bopping so the bopping. bopping you were bopping <laughs> i'll tell you this too we also we shot this it was about a year ago almost to the day that we probably shot that scene right mm -hmm. now and so we were that a year ago in covid so it was especially odd to be mimicking kind of a hot and sweaty gay dance club type vibe in that era it was like it felt felt extra dirty <laughs> it was it was extra dirty <laughs> for both of you uh, when you, I'm assuming when you were looking at the script and you saw the schedule, there must have been a day or two circled on the calendar that you're like, these are going to be really tough days. And these are the days where I really, you know what I mean? What were those, what was the day or two that you had circled on the calendar that you're 
not nervous about, but, you know, we're really thinking about. The first day we worked together? Yeah, the f- the, our first ever day w- was we shot all of the oncology appointments. So like the diagnosis and the trips back to the di- to the doctor to get about the radiation. And I mean, finding out that it was terminal. Yeah. Like, yeah. So we, we, we couldn't have been. A... We had never acted together before. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. yeah. So day so day one was circled. And I think that meant the rest of it. I didn't I didn't circle any of the rest of them because that was like we start. It was a baptism of fire. We dug. Yeah. We, we dove right into the deep end day one. And it just continued from there. It all felt it all felt momentous and it all felt special. The Them falling in love felt equally as important, you know, and, and important to get right. So it just kind of set the tone. Uh, yeah, where we carried on. When you're looking at a script and you're getting ready to to shoot, do you like preparing everything before the shoot begins um, as an actor? Or are you sort of like preparing certain things? How does it actually work before you step on set for each of you? I think what I wanted to do was get to know Kit and get to know my version of Kit and get to know the source material as well as I could in the time that I had and to feel to feel like I had a really good handle on them and it and my instinct for it. And then I think like in terms of preparing stuff, yes, learning the lines, but I I never have I made (laughs) this maybe as a good or a bad thing. Never have I made less decisions about how I would play something out. And I loved that, that I came to a scene and I was never sure what Jim was going to do. I was never fully sure of what I was going to do. And it was kind of just trusting. We're just, you know, very actory thing to say, but there was just this trust between us to find our own way. And also like as much as as all you want to ever achieve as an actor is to react in the moment. That's, that's when you've, when you're in the moment is when it's at its best, I think. And I, and I, and I feel like I try to allow myself to, to do that more than ever before. Yeah. I think every project is obviously unique and specific in its own ways. And this one very much was of the tone Ben just said, I feel like the biggest amount of work I did, I obviously read the book several times and referenced it a lot for myself. And in that tone, just kind of tracking in pin little points of the way, Michael's journey to meeting Kit um, falling in love with Kit, meeting Kit's parents, a cancer diagnosis, you know, li- reliving the trauma of his mother. Like those were like the highlights, but everything else was really the meat was put on those bones every day when we went in there. Yeah. And also we never stopped discussing them as well as, no. as people. I think that was, that was never ending between us and Michael Show Walter. Even at the weekends, we, yeah. would, we would have Zooms to still talk about the, what was coming scenes. that week. Yeah. yeah. That was really exciting, actually. I mean, you really, it was a very collaborative process in yeah. that way and very gratifying. Big time. On that note, again, I just want to say congrats and um, have a fantastic day. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.